All right, here we go. This is the one I feel it. Feel it. Go for it. All right, here we go. Hey, all you Firebase developers. Welcome to another episode of Ask Firebase, the show where we answer your burning Firebase questions. And today I am joined by Mayank Jeng. I'm the product manager for Firebase Remote Config. And uh, my mission is to make Firebase Remote Config an awesome platform for uh, developers, all the app developers. If it's all right with you, I'm going to start with a sort of a slow pitch. I think you'll mm -hmm. uh, know this really well. Our first question is, assuming that we have multiple Firebase projects for multiple apps using the same software, is it possible to modify or adjust the remote config settings of all the Firebase projects simultaneously? So this is a good question. And uh, we've heard this question a lot previously. So what we've done is, instead of just solving this use case, we solved the problem in general. So Remote Config now has a REST API. That's right. Which you can use to manage Remote Config from server side. So in this question, there are multiple Firebase projects, and they have multiple apps. And the developer wants to adjust Remote Config settings in almost all of them in, a, in any combination possible. Right. That's a great use case for uh, the Remote Config Management REST API. So the developer could essentially write a, a Python script or Node.js. We support It's a REST API, so you could wrap it up in any language you choose, and then uh, build any custom logic. OK, for example, imagine this. A taxi company wants to you know, like update some parameters in real time in their driver side app, also on their buyer side app. And these are two different projects. They could potentially do it with the same REST API. Yeah, um, I saw this question, and I was really excited about it because mm -hmm. it gave us a chance to talk about the new REST API. Absolutely. And I will link to that below as well, so you can check out the documentation. For sure. And we can scroll past this part because this is more of the same yeah. question. Let me actually take a uh, talk about it. So that's because it's uh, actually a good problem for REST API to solve. Yeah. So so the question is that the there's one developer who wants to migrate keys, a lot of keys, from one Firebase project to another Firebase project. Right. Previously, this was not possible. Imagine you have like uh, 500 keys in one remote config project. Are you expected to manually create every key in the that other makes project? My eye twitch. That's, that would be that's impossible, right? So uh, this is another great use case for the Firebase uh, Remote Config Management REST API, where so you essentially write a script which reads information from one project and writes the information to the target project. And this is also a great way to set up your different environments, which could be development, uh, staging, production. So uh, production environment is where you only write. And then stage again uh, development environments is where you know you, you could use the script to keep them in the same uh, sync. Yeah, yeah, another great use for the REST API. So it sounds very much like uh, these were common problems, yeah. and you and your team were listening and and found a good solution for this. Absolutely. I mean, we cannot address every problem, so instead we solved one common theme, which is the REST API, programmatic access to remote config. So yeah. But remember, if you see features that are very important, uh, you can always file a feature request. And uh, we we do appreciate that feedback. And we can Absolutely. incorporate it where, where appropriate. Absolutely. In fact, almost all of the features that we're building now for remote config have been almost exclusively requested by project developers. So well, there you go. So we need you. Yep. <laughs> OK, what else do we got? So certainly, different apps have different needs about uh, how frequently they're going to want to uh, fetch new information from mm -hmm. remote config. Uh, what is like the minimum uh, speed at which you can refresh the cache? Certainly. Uh, we've um, got this question so many times now from developers that we've actually went ahead and documented this in our official documentation. Right now, the way remote config is designed, you can fetch five times in a 60-minute window before getting throttled from uh, the client side itself. Now, the important point to note is that we cannot change this behavior right now because it is baked into the SDK itself. So if you start making refreshes faster than that, you will start seeing exceptions, throttling exceptions uh, from the SDK. That being said, it seems like if you need to refresh your information more than five times in an hour, again, we might be looking at rather than a remote config situation, some sort of uh, database solution might be better. Absolutely. Um, we don't recommend hitting the limits. Not because uh, server side, we cannot su support it on server side, but because going doing such fast refreshes in your app uh, basically kills the need for the fundamental reason we had the cache in there for. 
So we don't advise people doing such fast refreshes until unless there's a very, very specific use case that calls for it. So if you think you, as, as Jen said, you need more faster refresh rate, you should definitely explore RTDB or uh, Firestore. Yeah. You know, one of, my, one of my favorite cases I've seen of using remote config is, uh, I, I, I don't know if you've seen the talk that uh, some Firebasers gave about uh, Santa Tracker and how uh, Santa Tracker, you know, which is an app that is made here um, at Google by the mm -hmm. most, some people on the Firebase team, uh, they use remote config to uh, sort of be able to turn games on and off. So if they were finding that uh, something was particularly buggy, they were able to remove that from the UI and make it a better uh, user experience, so. Absolutely. I would like to add on to the, the discussion we just had. Um, mm -hmm. One thing to note is that the cache expiration strategy is set on the client. So if, say for example, if both me and Jen receive the uh, data, the cache at different times, our caches might expire at different time intervals as compared, you know, like it's not like 12 o'clock midnight, all caches expire, right? right. If, I, if I receive my first remote config fetch one hour earlier than how she received it, and we both have the same fetch timing, my cache will expire one hour before. So, That's so it, a good point. yeah, so it, don't think of it like it's it's clock based. It's just that it's based on the number of hours or number of uh, you know the cache expiration that you set in the SDK itself. Cool, good to know. Thanks so much for coming on the show and talking about remote config. Uh, it's one of our uh, great grow features. And uh, thank all of you for watching. And remember, if you have questions re about remote config or any other sort of Firebase feature, um, hit them up with a hashtag ask Firebase on social media. And who knows, you might see your question here on a future episode. And be sure to subscribe to the Firebase channel so you can check out all the other great content that we make on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in a future episode. Bye. Bye. No. Good God. What? Don't. I don't want any more questions. I'm done. <laughs>